Hi, this is Mike for Themify, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to the new Themify Flow theme from Themify. Installing Themify Flow is as easy as simply going to Appearance, Themes, clicking Add New, clicking Upload Theme, browsing to where you have downloaded the Themify Flow zip, clicking on the zip, click Open, Install Now, and then click Activate. If you take a quick look at the front end of our website, you will see you have just installed Themify Flow. Themify Flow is the new drag and drop theme builder from Themify. Themify Flow is an excellent way to develop the unique style, layout, and structure of your theme in a manner which you can easily then apply to another site, either your own site or for a client. To develop your Themify Flow theme, we're going to start off in the back end by going to the dashboard and then down to Themify Flow, and we're going to start with the global settings. This is going to bring us back to the front end where we have a number of options for the body, the link, the link hover. These are the general areas that we can affect. And we're going to start off just by coming down to the body, and we're going to change the font family from domain to, let's say, alpha slab one, something nice and bold that we can see. I'll now scroll down a little bit more and I will change the font color from black to say a dark blue. I like the changes that I've made. All I have to do is click done and this will save and close the Themify Flow global styling editor. Another way to develop a Themify Flow theme is directly here on the front end over here we have our Themify flow menu this spinning color wheel all we have to do is hover over that and we get the same global styling option that we saw in the back although this time I'm gonna choose edit in use template the template itself has a number of different sections that we can edit to control the look of our theme here you can see that we are on the template part header if I were to scroll down we have a category title here above our archive post, which is basically our blog roll. And over to the side, we have template part sidebar. To start editing, I could come and click this pencil icon here or simply double click on the section that I want to start editing. This opens the template part editor. You can see by hovering over each section of the header that this is made up of a number of modules. Here we have the site logo, the site tagline, social icons, and a menu. I'm going to edit this part by dragging a search form module and dragging and dropping it underneath the site description. I don't want to add any custom CSS, although I could. I'm just going to click on update, and that gives me my search form module. Now that I'm happy with the elements within my header, I can begin to adjust their styling by clicking on the styling icon here, this paintbrush. And I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to select a background color. I think I'll go for a sort of a dark cyan. And now to match my background, I'm going to change the font color. I'm going to change that from a black to a white and you'll notice that's just changing this initially because these other parts are links. I will come over here from row container to row link and scroll down to the font color icon and I will change that to white as well. And that changes the font color for the entire header. I'm simply going to click done and this will return me to the template part editor. From this point, I'm going to save and close the template part editor, and you'll see that I've changed the background and the font color of my header. And from here, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to double click on my archive post and edit the structure of my archive post. You can see here we've got the featured image over here on the left, followed by the post meta, post title, additional post meta, and excerpt here on the right and I'm going to change this row to a full width column 
and I'm going to change the image size from medium to large. I'm now going to click update and you can see that I have changed the size and the layout of my featured image now here on top rather than on the left followed by the date, the title, the metadata and the excerpt. I'm now going to hover over the archive post and I'm going to change the styling of this by clicking on the style icon. Here in the style panel for the archive I'm going to select the post title and I'm going to change the font again to something that we can see alpha slab 1 nice big and bold. I'm going to click on done and save these changes and I'm going to save the template and close the editor and now you'll see that we have a nice large featured image nice large type different colors and if I click around to different pages you'll see that the header has changed site-wide as well as the body paragraph styles I'm going to return to the main page and now to save the theme settings that I've created here and transfer them to another theme I'm simply going to go back to the dashboard I'm going to go to Themify Flow and Flow Themes and here I'm going to cl simply click Export to export the settings that I've created. I'm going to click Save and now I'm going to hop over to a second WordPress install. This is my Themify Flow second site. You can see that I already have Themify Flow installed the way it was when we set it up initially and I'm going to hop over to the dashboard and I'm going to go to Themify Flow, Flow Themes and this time instead of clicking Export I am going to replace the current Themify Flow Theme settings here in the Flow second site and I'm going to click on Replace. It's going to override our current data. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to select Upload. I'm going to just select the Themify base that I just exported from the initial site. I'm going to say Open. And now I'm going to switch to the front end of our website and you'll see that our customizations, our large images, our backgrounds, our font colors have all been transferred over here to our second site. And that's how easy it is to develop custom Themify flow settings and transfer them to additional sites. Thank you.